The Giro Rosa has been a goal, yeah, ever since I knew about women's cycling. Um, I remember, I think, reading on the internet before I was racing about this women's 10-day race in Italy, and I said, that would be a really cool race to do, and that the leader wears a pink jersey, and it hasn't happened overnight. Every year has been a bit of a learning curve. The first time I wore pink was last year, and I had the jersey for six days. And after losing the jersey this year, I wanted to make sure I crossed that final finish line on the 10th on the day with the jersey on my back. Last year I had it in the time trial, and then I lost a minute to Anna van der Bregen last year, and she took over the jersey, and that, that crushed me. Um, so going into this year, I had the pink jersey again, very similar scenario. But at the end of the day, you can only go out and do the best you can. So I, last year I was crushed, and but I couldn't ask for anything more. And that you just have to learn to accept that that's bike racing. And then after getting through this year with the time trial, that's when it sunk in. I wouldn't have done it without my teammates. They were there supporting me every step of the way. And uh, yeah, Danny Stam saw somebody that might be able to win the Giro Rosa a few years ago, and here we are. It was emotional. There's a lot of tension with it. There's a lot of pressure, and especially after having the moment last year when you did your very best effort. It's 10 days, and it's 10 grueling days. Whether it's the, the, the actual terrain, or the, the heat, or any of the other factors, it's a hard race, and you have to be able to adapt and do it all. And so when you say you want to win the Giro, that, that needs to happen years before you, I think that dream can be realized. I think the Giro is a really important race for women's cycling because it showcases almost every kind of talent. You have your sprint stages, you have your climbing stages, you have your all-around stages, you have your prologues and time trials, and we never get to see that back to back to back. Um, and also, it, it just shows the, the strength of women that we, we can do this 10 days. We could do it longer if we had the opportunity. And um, I, I think it's also a very exciting time in our sport because you have all of these women who, have, who are super strong and it's an exciting race. It's, um, it, you can't predict what's going to happen. And I think that's really um, exciting for the fans and it, it keeps all of the competitors on their toes every day. It's never over until it's over. You, you need to cross the line. Anything can happen in bike racing. Um, and you need to hold your focus until the, you cross the line and you've done it. Yeah, so for me, when I crossed the line and I still had that pink on my back and, and then could celebrate with my teammates is when I realized that I did it. I don't think I ever get sick of popping champagne. <laughs> so it can go as long as it needs to go. It's incredible um, to be up there with the pink jersey and, and popping that final bottle of champagne. Uh, today I actually got to be on the, on the podium with my teammates. Yeah, it's just so special. I, I love racing in Italy and to yeah have, have taken the Maya Rosa home. Maybe I'll sleep in it tonight, I don't know. <laughs>